We're here with Todd Green from Firestone and we're going to be installing a new suspension system in this every man's truck and it's the R4 Tech suspension. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. As you know, Firestone has been doing uh, load leveling and support for many years. Uh, this is a new kit that we've come out with and it's designed to give you that full towing kit capacity that you normally would have but also increase the ride comfort when you're unloaded. Mike loves the outdoors so to get there he needs a truck that's going to perform. It's got a lot of weight, a lot of dirt bikes to put in, lots of camping gear. All that weight in the back is definitely causing a problem for the rear. It's sagging and it's just overweight. Todd Green and his engineers Brad Mogul are nice enough to put in the kit. To start off, the Firestone technicians remove the rear leaf springs of the truck. The next crucial part was to install the upper mount for the rear, which will hold the support brace in place. It's a tough job for this truck because it's tight space for mounting it. The boys put in place a new leaf spring that's actually thinner than the original spring, which is going to soften up the ride and let the air spring do its job. Now it's time for the air spring to be put in place. First, the upper spring bracket is placed on the chassis with the height control assembly. The air spring is mounted on the axle and then carefully raised to match the spring to the upper bracket. The new Rancho shocks are installed as part of this extensive kit. Finally, the air compressor that does all the work is mounted to the frame rail on the passenger side. It's now a case of feeding the lines to the wheel well, mounting height control, and finish up the nitty gritty. A special switch is mounted in the gas tank to control the height of the rear suspension manually. What does that mean for Mike? Well, he's loading his bikes into the back of the truck and it's much easier. When he needs to mount the trailer, it's a case of flipping the switch back and up it goes. Okay, well thanks to Todd and Brad, uh, great job and this is the truck guy, Ian Harwood.